There is an affordability issue right now with the housing market in Arizona. Will it correct, crash, or go up in 2024? Hi, my name is Nicole Black, and I'm your Arizona Realtor. We're going to cover what do they mean by even the word affordability, and then two, what is the current status in Arizona's real estate marketplace right now? Okay, so we're going to dive into our first article um, covering the affordability in the country right now just overall. So if you can see right here from Business Insider, rates on the most popular home loans could fall to 6% or even dip slightly below going into 2025, according to LendingTree. Lower rates in turn could boost home buyer demand, but they're saying affordability challenges will keep many Americans on the sidelines. All right, well, what about in Arizona? Home affordability continues to shrink in Arizona. So what they're saying right now, all eight of the counties mentioned in this report were not considered affordable, meaning that the cost of the mortgage payment of the median price home would require less than 30% of the average salary. Ooh, we're getting into what the definition is. So they're saying all eight counties in Arizona right now that are mentioned in this article are not affordable. So let's take an example of an actual zip code in Arizona. It's called 85254, and this is in Scottsdale. And right now, the home payment as a percent of income is at 57.31%. Do you remember what the article said? They give a general guideline that 30% or less is what your mortgage payment should be of your gross salary. So if it is more than that, you're considered not affordable. So over 30%, this is at 57.31%, is pretty significantly over that amount um, for affordability. So how do they come up with this number? Well, they take the median income for that zip code, which happens to be around 119000 Divide 119000 by 12. You're going to get around 9900 and then you take that number times, let's just say 28%, because that's under 30, which they recommend for it to be under, then that'd be around $2,800 for that mortgage payment. Now, the average mortgage payment where the home values in this zip code is around 5,700, because the average home right there right now is around 835,000. Are you seeing the math here? That's where they come up with the affordability issue. Now, why do they come up with a number of under 30% of your gross? Remember, gross income is before taxes, not even after taxes. So they say around 30% or under, or under 30%, I should say, is because you, you pay for more things than just a mortgage. You have a lifestyle. You have living expenses like home, uh, or I mean, not home, but food, clothing, cell phone, insurances, savings. And they feel that just from over data over the years collected, that anything where you have a mortgage payment over 30% of your gross income of what you bring in, is going to be really challenging to do those things. And that's not realistic, affordable for a long-term good lifestyle and be able to even keep your home long-term. So as you can see, that's where they're coming up with the affordability issue is the fact that majority of the zip codes in Arizona right now, if not all are over that 30% marker for affordability for people to buy today with the average medium household incomes versus what the value of the homes are to what the mortgages are going to be. So now you might say to yourself, okay, well, that's at that the, the current mortgage rate, which is around, I think now at the time of this video, it just went below seven, but it was at seven. So let's just use seven as an example. So we're going to go to a mortgage calculator that we found online. Again, you always have to consult with your loan officer for real numbers because this doesn't know your real situation. But these are just to give you gauges and estimates. So as you can see, again, we talked about that 5,700-ish number. We're rounding, of course. Let's say mortgage rates actually come down to 5%, which is they're talking about actually happening. That only brings the payment down to around 4790 that's still way over the 2800 uh, for what the average median income is for that area. Let's even go down to 2%, which we don't even think we're going to see for who knows when. That only brings it down to 3673 So obviously there is an affordability gap with the home prices where they're at right now versus what the average median income is for these areas. But still being that said, 
we are going to take a look at then now, though somebody who says differently. So we also have articles that say, return of the housing boom, Arizona realtors optimistic about the market booming back in 2024. So we've heard people say that Arizona, the second that those prices come down, or the interest rates, I apologize, the interest rates come down, we're going to have another bidding war. And this real estate person right here, uh, Sydney Reedy, the president elected of the Arizona Realtors, um, say that she believes that once interest rates come down, we're going to have bidding wars again. And this is why. Arizona is still one of the number one states for people to move to, especially from states like California, where people have amazing, amazing equity positions in their homes there and can come and pay down. So yeah, let's say they want to buy a home in 85254 for 835000 but they, they put 500000 down. Now the affordability of what their mortgage is is extremely affordable for them. So that's where I feel like a lot of that talk is coming from. Okay, so we're going to take a look at where are we in Arizona now. So what we're looking at is the Cromford Market Index for the top 17 cities in the Phoenix metro area. And remember, the Cromford Market Index um, is very, very specific just to Arizona. Um, so if you're in another state and you're going, why would you use that as a metric for housing? Well, it's because it's actually very specific to Arizona and it's been really very accurate for, I think they're going on 22 years now for Arizona. So it is a leading indicator more so than a lagging indicator. It is um, a leading in the short term. Um, it takes in consideration pending listings, active listings, um, sold. And then in addition, um, the trend of a four-year historic um, information into it as well. So the Crumford Market Index is very good for Arizona and um, knowing what a very current indicator is what's happening. So if you look here for the top 17 cities in the Phoenix area, when you see a green arrow, that means it's in favor of the sellers. Red means it's in favor of the buyers. And there is a lot more green. And this is of the week of January 4th. Um, or as of, I should say, January 4th. So as you can see um, in the majority cities right now, it is slightly in favor of the sellers more so than in others. Um, we did have an even increase overall in the Crumford Marker Index by 6% within one week, which is somewhat significant, um, going more again, trending towards sellers, not saying it's going to go full-blown seller's market everywhere, um, or it's going to have this huge bidding war at all. Um, it's just saying it's a trend in certain cities. But as you can see, some of them are not. Some of them are actually in buyer's market. Um, anything under um, 90 um, is a buyer's market. Between 110 and 90 is a balance. And over 110 in this category of the CMI is considered a seller. So let's say you're looking to buy in Queen Creek right now. Are you in a seller's or a buyer's market? You're actually in a buyer's market. But given all of the information of, hey, interest rates are coming down, prices are going to be bidding wars again, you would be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to overpay for a house in Queen Creek. You might not have to. Um, but then again, also specific areas of these other, you know, we say Chandler, there's a couple zip codes in there. When you see Scottsdale, there are a couple zip codes in there. What is it specific to where you're looking to buy is really important to know. So that's why I wanted to show you this. In addition, again, Another um, point that you should know is the price range that you're looking in. Is it one that's competitive where people are, um, prices are going up or prices may be coming down? It could be also by price point, square footage, again, zip codes, all those things. So this right here is a change in annual average price per square foot by listing um, per price range of January 8th of this year. And if you see anything over $2 million, what happened on average? Prices went up. Anything below? Prices went down. So even though it might be somewhat of a balance slash kind of a seller's market in some areas because they are getting sales, that's not indicating really the price, right? So it could be, yeah, they're selling, but they're maybe selling at a corrected or lower price point than what was offered at the listing. These are all things that you should know going into any time in buying and purchasing a home um, in any area that you're in. And of course, in Arizona, we have lots of tools here that can help us di deep dive into knowing what the numbers that you need to know to help you and empower you in your purchasing decision um, before you go in. So don't just take the news, um, what they're saying on social, what your friends are saying around the table as gospel. 
get to know the real numbers before you actually purchase or look for that home. And if you need any help looking to a certain area, please, we're always here for you. Please contact us. You can either text, call, message, whatever ever your preferred communication is, we will get back to you. So I hope you're having an amazing time moment wherever you are in the world and you're doing great. And don't forget, we're always here for you.